couple things I want to point out for this install is that this can be cut to size. But I think 36 inches for the Jeep will be perfectly fine. There's going to be some modifications we're going to do. Um, we're showing in the instructions and what exactly I'm going to do. I'm going to show you one of the issues that I found already. And of course, what you see is that it's not exactly perfect. So I need to fix that. So 564 drill bit is what I'm going to use. So now I got my mark. That's my new hole offset. And now you can see I'm in the center now, so that's gonna work a lot better than how it came from the factory. So now, I got a hole where I could feed the wire down to make it easier to set up. To remove the old throttle cable, what you need to do is cut the wire from the inside between that brass grommet and that other little stopper there. And then to remove the physical cable, just pinch the sides and then push it through. Then you'll just be able to pull it out. Now we're ready to install the new one. I don't need that end that the kit came with, so what I need to do is pull the throttle cable out of the sheath and get rid of that little piece. And then hopefully that it'll be able to feed back in without any issues. The next little problem is that the throttle cable hole was actually quite large. So I grabbed some washers that weren't included with the kit. So you need two of those, plus I'm using the foam little rubber grommet or whatever foam pad that it came with and then I bolted it through the firewall there as you can see now we're ready to feed the cable back through feeding the cable back in is obviously relatively pretty simple to do one thing I do got to point out in case you're curious it goes through that brass grommet and then goes through that part in the wall there so this isn't a big deal here but the LS bracket there, the throttle cable bracket is won't work properly with the fitting so once again I used a couple washers and speed the throttle cable through onto the little sheath there and then tighten up that nut I believe this kit was 9 16 wrench you can fine tune adjust it afterwards and now one of the things you want to do is make sure that it's centered going through. And in order to tighten it up, you need to pull the throttle cable tight while throttles in its relaxed position and then tighten her down. So now it's time to feed in the little brass bushing. I got the throttle wide open for this just to kind of make it easier to feed it through. Then once it's fed through, I put it in its closed position, line it up, check for looseness. And now I'm going to mash the pedal down and see how everything feels. So the pedal feels okay, but as you can see in the video footage, still a little bit of slack in the cable that we can pull out yet. When you get to this part of finally setting up the pedal, you'll figure out your own method on doing this. Right now I'm just kind of feeling it and giving a little light tugs just to see how much more pedal I could suck out of it and then pulling down on the wire kind of gently giving a little couple pulls so all the slack is pulled out of it and then I'm gonna lock it down so you can see right there it looks a little bit better throttle cables a little bit more tighter 
So in that last clip, you would have noticed the throttle cable was a little shorter. What I did is put a small piece of heat shrink on the cable, and then I heated her down to suck her up. And then I use a pair of pliers to cut it. That way the wire will not fray. And also since it's cut, it's not interfering with nothing. So now the throttle can move freely. And there you have it. We're all done, looking good. One last project to worry about. So I hope this video helped you out in doing the throttle cable for your LS swap in your Jeep. I used a 36 inch cable and it worked out for me. So I'll see you guys in the next video.